Hi, I'm attorney Jim Dodson. When someone has a suspected brain injury, it's not uncommon for an MRI to be ordered. When you get into MRI testings, there's a number of different tests that doctors have a choice of ordering, depending on what they suspect may be going on. It is very common for a standard MRI uh, in a brain injury context to come back normal. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that there is no brain injury. After a normal MRI, uh, the doctor can consider any number of more specific uh, MRI tests to find certain areas of damage. One of the ones would be a diffusion tensor imaging MRI, or DTI, or what we call a diffusion MRI. This is really designed to uh, examine the, the water or fluid pathways um, in the white matter of the brain, which are the deeper T uh, tissues of the brain, which are sort of the connecting pathways between areas of the brain. So what happens so many times is a person may have been involved in some type of an accident. Uh, they have some symptoms such as memory loss, motor coordination, uh, word finding, whatever the symptoms may be. The doctor's looking for an explanation of what's going on. This diffusion MRI many times will reveal uh, indirectly damage to the neurons or axons of the brain affecting that particular part of the person's motor coordination, speech, speech or, or what have you. And they are a very important component in the process used by the physicians to identify, detect, and recommend treatment for someone who suffered a significant brain injury.